guys. It is October 3rd, 2016. On this job here, I gotta go run a new oil line and do a burner cleaning for a lady. I was there, I went over there Friday and um, she had the oil line buried in a concrete, an old style oil line that's not doesn't have a protective cover on it. And I told her she'd need an OSV valve, which is an oil safety valve, or run a new oil line, which would be better to run a new oil line. So she had her kids come over on the weekend, I guess, and clear a bunch of stuff out along the wall so I, I can go back and run the oil line. Uh, and I'll put some clips on it to fasten it. I'll show you when I, how I do it. But I'll try to get you some shots over there. She seemed kind of interested, interested uh, watching me, so I don't know if I get any, any footage, but I don't see why, why I can't. But uh, I guess her husband had died recently, and she wants to make sure Aretha's up the pot. It's an old boiler. Well, I can't touch it unless I upgrade the oil line because of the new insurance laws in my state. The new insurance laws state that um, oil line has to be protected or it has to uh, have an OSV valve on it or they won't insure the homeowner's insurance won't cover it. And when my, uh, I've got like two million worth of um, liability insurance on my business and it don't even cover oil spills. I can't even buy coverage for oil spills because it falls under the homeowner's insurance. So I don't do, I don't touch any unit unless it's up the code as far as the oil lines go now because uh, they're really enforcing it here in my state. So I'll show you what I mean when I get there. If the oil, if the copper line is in contact with the ground or concrete, it's got to be, um, it's got to have an oil safety valve, which won't open unless the, you know, the vacuum on the pump pulls a good vacuum for it to open. So if there's a leak, you know, suck air in before I will um, open the, the, the oil safety valve. That's the idea of it. So if the line ever rots in the floor, it ain't going to dump the oil into the ground. That's the idea of it. And the protected oil line's got a coating on it, uh, orange coating the whole way. So there's no way it could leak, you know, if the, if the line leaks, it's going to come out both ends, type of thing. So I'll try to get you some footage when I get there, if I can. You can see it goes right into the ground there, no good. <clears throat> I don't see any oil on the floor at all. Hold the tank, but it's still okay, I guess. And I'll upgrade the oil line for now. You can see the new oil line's got like a coating on it. So if it leaks, it, it has to ooze out the ends. I got a whole roll there, so we're going to use that. You can see the way it's covered. It's covered with plastic. The new connections have to be flare. The firematic at the burner. This is a long one, and this is a short one. See the difference? Well, it's got a flare nut. There's a fire. This will melt and psh, shut off. That goes at the burner. This will be going at the uh, filter. Right now they got compression. I'm gonna run it along the back of the tank, along the wall here, along this wall, and then along this wall around into the boiler on the back and I'll clip it with clips and concrete anchors you can see the compression nut, I can't use that it's going to be flare
don't look too dirty. Built it don't look too dirty, but we're gonna change it anyway. So now I'm putting a new oil line in there. I usually like to clean this up with a brush.
bolts. I had to put a little bit of Gundy on that baby. Here it comes. How old was he? His name's Jesse? So obviously the tank is old, but you know, um, I'm just running the oil line, I'm not changing the tank. Obviously, not at this point.
Continue on clipping it. They're coated. God, I got the oil line already ran around. I got it clipped wherever I want it. I'm going to use the 3 8 quarter, 3 8 half and five eighths in this box flare. Hello. Yes, can I help you? Yeah, that's me. You bought the water heater and you want me to hook it up? No, I don't I don't do that. I don't unless I unless I supply the water heater, I don't hook it up. Yeah. Yeah, when do you want to do it? All right, um, I got your number here on my phone. Let me call you back. I'm in the middle of working on something, but I will call you back when I get in, in the in the truck and we'll we'll schedule something, okay? If I don't call you back, you know, in a couple hours, call me back, okay? All right, yeah, but all right, so we have to cut this off so I can flare it in the plastic. It's gonna come off. I can flare it. Be careful you don't cut yourself. I always put a little bit of dope on there, it helps it. That's what I do.
careful with this because you don't want to break it. You know, I want to break the lip with the tank. Not easy being cheesy, Mama. Oh man, Steve's a real walking man, y'all. <laughs>